my channel so in today's video i thought i would do another like products i recommend video so i did one of these like two months ago or it was like three months ago with products that i recommended but since then because i have an addiction to buying like makeup and skincare i literally have a severe addiction to buying makeup and skincare that i have a whole like all this stuff i'm about to show you now i didn't have in that video because i really found some good products that i think you guys should get also if i keep like moving my nails i just put them on so whenever i have nails on i'm always like hand actioning a lot of these products are viral on tiktok so i'm kind of going to be telling you guys what products are worth you buying if you see them on tiktok if you get what i mean hope you guys enjoy today's video make sure you like so and comment i'm gonna start with makeup products split that into categories of like lip products face products also a lot of these products i have used over summer so if you want some good like summer products when you're going on holiday a lot of these products i loved using when i went away i'll start with makeup i'll show you everything i've lined up on my bed like that is all the products i'm going to show you guys i'm going to start with like face products so to get your perfect face in the summer so when i tell you i've tried the collection floss filter the primark floss glow found the best one out of them all and i'd have to say it is the elf halo glow so i've been using this the past few weeks and i'm literally obsessed with it so it's the elf halo glow liquid filter and it's like a glow booster it makes your skin really shiny i actually got this in a bit too dark of a shade i've been loving using it because i have a tiny bit of a tan from going on holiday so this is in the shade shade four so medium I still have the primark one the collection filter finish i feel like i should get by now the actual floss filter and just compare them i recently got the maybelline like stick that you can like rub on your skin overall any of these products are really good but i really recommend the elf one but my favorite product i've been using this every single day over summer at the say glow and they're like sun glow or something that comes in this little bottle i use it every on holiday every day when i was going to school in summer i put these on instead of like the collection filter finish it's lasted me like three months i got it like three months ago i'm literally obsessed with it i could recommend you any product right now it would be this one i've used it every day religiously and then for like good setting spray i really recommend the charlotte tilbury one the airbrush setting spray party all day no party all night stay all day so i've been using this every single day to set my makeup in for like three months now it's obviously i know it's like 28 pound which is very expensive for a setting spray but it has lasted me ages i feel like with products like charlotte tilbury their powder is the best thing to exist on this planet it airbrushes like your skin so it looks like a filter it's so good I get it in the shade fair shade the fair pale because I don't want to look orange under my eyes but having a lighter shade means they're more bright so this is the one that I get I literally love it but these two together are the only shot toy products I like I don't get the hype on these ones I feel like you can get much better blushes and highlights so now for like face products that you add like bronzer blush highlight so I'll go from like cheapest to, to most expensive these are one pound blushes they might be one pound or like two pound three pound from yes style are so good so I have it in the shade I think this is coral and then this one's like a baby pink but this with like a I've just got it all under my nails. So this is the baby pink shade. And then they have the coral one. I think I may have shown these in my last haul. But the coral one I've been loving. So I feel like it's a very summery colour. And then to go with that, like cream blushes, I have three that I've been using religiously. So when I first got this blush, I was a bit like, it's not, I don't get the hype. Like it's not that good. Like I can't really blend it out very well. So I was using other blushes. But then on holiday, I started using this again. And I can't stop using it now. It's so good. The colour is like the most vibe. Okay, I don't know why it's not picking it up on camera. So nice. It's in the shade raspberry and it's the makeup by mario blush stick so it comes with the blush on one side and then and it comes with a brush on the other but i also absolutely adore the packaging and makeup by mario it's so cute also the rare beauty pebble blush it's in the shade nearly rose i literally adore the packaging of this it's like a little pebble and it opens and it's got like magnetic closing like that but it's that's like me so much okay oh i've just snapped a nail anyways you guys know how much i love refi it's like the best makeup brand ever so i recently got their cream blush also in the shade rose but this one's like a completely different type of rose that's more of a red and then this is more of a peachy color it was only 14 pound which i think is quite good the mario one was 31 so i don't know if i would recommend spending that much on it but you can get better blushes for cheaper prices and then this one's 22 24 it's somewhere 21 22 something like that but these like cream blushes last ages obviously there's a massive size difference to the bronzer and this is only 16 this is 14 so i don't know why there's such a big size difference but i guess you use less blush than bronzer they're my fave blushes cream and powder so for concealer i never normally spend this much money on a concealer this is 28 and it's a dual one but it is a really good concealer i'm not gonna lie it's really good but recently i have been using the maybelline four in one as a concealer it's more brightening i find whereas this one gives you more coverage i've been using this one every single day 
day, whole summer, I've been using this concealer. I don't actually take the whole like thing out because I find it spills off the side. So I just like wipe a bit and dab it in the corner of my eyes. This is definitely viral on TikTok. It's one of the ones that Katie Fang used. I got it because I, she recommended it and I literally adore it. I like bronzer and highlighter to go with the blushes. I don't need to speak about it. I absolutely adore the Refi one. I used it so many times. I've spoken about it so many times. But it's the Refi cream bronzer in the shade Sand. I've had this bronzer since Christmas and it has started hitting pan. Like I've just scraped it around the outside. As soon as this runs out, I run in to Selfridges or buying it online to buy a new one. I use this every to go with the Rare Beauty Melting Blush, the highlighter, the powder one. So this is in the shade Mesmerize. Controversial opinion, my opinions have changed. I used to say how <laughs> I used to say how much I loved this highlighter from Rare Beauty. I still really like it. I found that it doesn't blend in properly. Like on holiday, I had it on my cheeks. I blended it in in the morning. Thought I blended it in how I usually do. And then Lois said, you've got really unblended highlighters here. And the other day I put it on my skin and I found like I couldn't blend it in. It dried down so quickly. So this is kind of gone down in my rankings of products I love. The highlighter, the powder one, is so good. I'm gonna put some on my nose now. It gives you the most shimmery glow. I've got a pinky shade because I love it like matching my blush. This mascara is so good, guys. It's a telescopic mascara from L'Oreal. It lengthens your lashes so much. I have it on right now. I love the applicator as well. It's like really thin. And I find that gives you more like natural wispy lashes instead of thick clumpy ones. And while I was on holiday, I picked up the Essence Mascara and this is the Lash Princess one and it's the green one. So I've recently been using these two together. Best combo ever. That's why I have on my lashes right now. Matilda used it, Becca used it, said it was so good. So I really, really recommend these two. But now onto my favorite thing to talk about ever is lip products. These are my ones that I've been using every day all through summer that I love. A very wide collection of them. I have the driest lips on holiday because of the sun and the sun also dries your lips out quite a lot which is why it's also good to have a lip balm with SPF in. So if you are about to go on holiday I'd really recommend the Malibu lip balms. They have like loads of flavours like watermelon, mint, vanilla and you can normally get them in like a pack of three. It has SPF 30 in and it's water resistant and they're like a pound a pack. Also you need Vaseline and I have the original one and then I love this like I found this one in my drawer like a few weeks ago and I've started using it. It smells so good. It's like a peach one. I love it. These are just like essential lip products you need. And then also more kind of like lip balms, treatments. These are my three favourites from this summer. First one is the Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Kiss Lip Butter. It's like a really thick lip balm. The Laneige Peachy Balm, the Lip Glowy Balm. I've been using this awesome on holiday. It smells of summer. It's also more convenient because you can't really carry around like a tub of Laneige lip mask. So I recommend getting the I got this because it was on sale. It's the hangover lip treatment from Too Faced and I bought it because it was on sale But then I actually love it so much. It's in the watermelon scent it's supposed to like help dry lips because it's called a lip treatment It makes your lips like a pink shade. It gives them a shine. It also keeps them really moisturized So I've literally been living off this. I put it on every single day These are my three like fave kind of like more flavored scented lip balms But if you're going for more like plain if you've got really dry lips, Vaseline always works. The ones I use on holiday all the time was this combo. So I use the Refi Lip Liner, which I've talked about before, in the shade Blush. It comes with the lip liner itself. You just twist it. It's a twisted one. You don't need to worry about sharpening it. It comes with a lip setter on the end, so it stays in place. The only thing with that is, I find if you put it on your lips, it dries it out quite a lot. And then to go with that, the perfect holiday blush lip product. Obviously, when I go to the beach, I don't put makeup on. I do put a bit of Benetton on my cheeks and my lips. I've been putting it on my lips as well as a really pretty lip combo. And then I'll put like a bit of like this lip balm on top. If you want a really good gloss, the Fenty Ice Bomb. Gloss Bomb Ice in Cold Hearted is like a mint plumping lip gloss from Fenty. And I love anything mint scented. So those are my like favourite lip products for the summer that I've been using every day without fail. They've been saving my lips. But to be honest, my lips are very dry right now. Like, I always get, like, dry skin under it and I never know how to get it away. But yeah, that's all my makeup products, guys. I have a lot. They were just my favourites that I've been using over summer. Let me know if you want, like, an updated, actual, full makeup routine, like a get rid of me. Like a 20-minute one where I just do my makeup answering questions. <laughs> Now we're going to move on to skincare. So this doesn't have as many products because I just mastered like my favourite skincare routine. I think all of these are viral on TikTok. So all of these are worth it. I've talked about it so many times. It's the Glow Recipe PH and BH Pore Tight Toner. It smells insane. Except Lois says it smells of sick, but I don't get it. Also, how pretty is the packaging? It's black. I nearly finished the bottle. I bought it like just before summer because I had a travel size one before. And then I bought full size because I loved it so much. To go with that, you need some like serums to keep your skin moisturised and hydrated 
hydrated in the summer. These two are my favourite. So we have the Advanced Snail 96 Mucin Power Essence. It's like snail secretion. What the hell? I think it's similar to like hyaluronic acid. I bought this in like a bigger size. I thought this was the biggest. You can get ones even bigger, which is crazy. I've had a lot of time to think about this product because I've now actually finished it. Finished the Drunk Elephant whipped cream today. There's nothing in there left. If it's worth the 50 quid that you have to spend. I'm not gonna lie, I think it is. It's so thick and I've never had such a thick moisturiser to get it fully aesthetic for the Get Ready Me's. But now I actually love the product. I hate doing like talking videos. My throat goes so dry. <laughs> Now we have like all face stuff done. I'm gonna go on to like body care and the hair care. These are them all. So we're gonna start off with sprays. Sol de Janeiro 68. So I actually had it in the smaller size and then I ran out and I love it so much. I bought it in the massive one. I'm so glad I did. Really recommend buying the full size. Okay, and then for hair care, it's another Sol de Janeiro product. I got this because I wanted my hair to smell of 62. Beachy smelling hair. The Sol de Janeiro Milky Leave-In Conditioner, which is weightlessly hydrates, detangles. It also protects it from heat and UV so in the sun it also protects it from like drying out I don't know if that happens can your hair dry out from the sun I sprayed this every single night when I got out of the shower because I would swim in the sea in a day and then my hair would be so disgusting from the salt water so yeah I literally love this it's 28 and I got it from Selfridges I also love how it's got a little I thought it was short. But it's also got a lock button. So in my suitcase, it didn't explode. Finally, moving on to body care. So these four products, the little combo for smelling like vanilla. So I have an obsession with smelling of vanilla. It's like my favorite thing to put on my leg. First one is the Bare Vanilla Lotion from Victoria's Secret. But get it in the shimmer one because it makes your legs sparkle. Well, it's a normal Bare Vanilla scent, but it's just got like shimmery glitter in. But my actual thing broke. So I have to like take it out like this and put it on me. These two products, actually insane. First one is the Vaseline Intensive Care Co Coca Radiant Continuous Spray. So Matilda actually recommended this to me. She was like, I love it, you'll love it. You just unlock it at the top and then you take it and then you spray it on your arms and then it moisturizes it in. It dries down really fast, but then you can still smell it on yourself like hours later. This was like two pound from like Home Bargains or Savers or whatever. Found this like honey oil and I was like, that is so gorge. It's from Pink and it's a nourishing body oil made of like honey, reminding me of Sol de Janeiro. So I put it on me after using the Vaseline, I put this oil on. If you want to smell like vanilla and honey, get these three products. Favourite like body lotions at the moment. If you're on holiday and you're getting burnt, but on after sun. So the best after sun you can get is a Hawaiian Tropic after sun body butter in the scent Exotic Coconut. I took this on holiday with me last year and then I also took it on me this year. And it still hasn't run out. It's such a big tub. It's like really thick as well. It really helped like soothe my burn. They're my favourite like body products for the summer that I was using. But if you're going on holiday now, I really recommend getting this product. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment. And please leave me video ideas that you want to see me film over the summer because I have like a month left. When this is posted, I have two, no, three weeks left. Three and like three weeks in a few days. I have two weeks left at home and then a week I go away on holiday again. So give me content to film while I'm home that I can post like morning routines, night routines. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.